Well, there's a lot of nervous trump fucks out there, mostly centered around what's happening at Mar-a-Lago. It's almost pathetic. The stupid excuses they're making, nobody's buying them. They're ridiculous. They're childish. But don't sleep on Georgia. <laughs> Fonnie Willis is down there doing her own investigation, has her own grand jury. A lot of people think she'd be the first one to come out with an indictment with Donald Trump or people close to him. You see, Fonnie Willis is investigating Donald Trump attempting to overthrow the election in Georgia by calling the Secretary of State and saying, all I need is 11,780 votes. If that weren't bad enough, the shit's on tape with Donald Trump's voice. Oh, he's fucked in that one. Well, here's the deal. It seems like Rudy Giuliani and Lindsey Graham stuck their sniffer into this fucking thing, and they may be culpable too. So Fonnie Willis says, Rudy Giuliani, I would like to extend an invitation for you to come down to Georgia and talk to us. And Rudy Giuliani says, no, I couldn't do that. I don't want to do that. There's no reason for me to do that. And by the way, I'm sick. I can't fly. <laughs> Well, a judge just the other day said, Rudy, we don't give a fuck if you can't fly. We don't give a fuck if you're sick. Put your old ass in an Uber and come down to Georgia because you got to talk. <laughs> and then there's Lindsey Graham. Oh, Lindsey was invited too. And Lindsey has been trying to avoid this like the fucking plague. He's gone to court. He's made comments. He's throwing around rhetoric. But they did take it to court, and guess what? The judge there, too, said, Lindsay, you need to get your best prom dress on and get your fucking ass down to Georgia, because you've got to talk. <laughs> so this is not going well for the Trump fucks, specifically Lindsey Graham and Rudy Giuliani. There'll be a subpoena, too, for Donald Trump at some point, but that'll come closer to the end. A lot of shit going on at Mar-a-Lago, but there's a lot of shit going on in Georgia, in D.C., and New York. This is hitting the Republicans from all sides. They can't juggle all this shit. One, at the bare minimum, is going to stick. So what that means for Donald Trump and the Republicans, well, you all are fucked, and we are happy to see it.